Today we're going to solve problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. So this is an example of Venn diagram, but before we're going to answer learning task number one, we're going to define first what is Venn diagram. Venn diagram is a diagram that uses circles to represent sets. So this is an example of Venn diagram. Here is another one with only two circles. So the relation between the sets is indicated by the arrangement of circles. The Venn diagram is a way of representing sets visually and is named after its inventor, British mathematician John Venn. That is why it's called Venn diagram. So let's show to example number one. Use Venn diagram to represent the following sets. So set U is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Set A is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And set B is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So set U is the universal set which includes all of the, the elements under consideration and it is represented by the rectangle. Itong rectangle siya ang set U. Set A is one circle and set B is another circle. So one, two, there are two circles. So one circle, two circle. Kailangan may, may run silang intersection dito kung saan nag-meet yung dalawang circles. So ano, bakit kailangan may intersection or a part where the two circles meet? Kasi doon mo ilalagay yung elements na makikita mo sa set A at makikita mo rin sa set B. For ex this example, the numbers that you can found in set A and set B is 6. You can find in set A and set B 6 and 8. So 6 and 8, ibig sabihin, itong ilalagay mo dito sa, sa intersection is 6 at saka 8. Yung mga natira, ilagay mo dito sa labas. So, so for set B, ang natira dito is 5, 7, at saka 9. 5, 7, at saka 9. So this is set B. Ang natira lang is 5, 7, at saka 9. So ilalagay mo dito sa labas ng intersection. So the elements in the set B, ang sa loob ng circle is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hindi pwede na mag-ayos sa isang circle, dalawa ang number 5, dalawa ang number 6. Kailangan distinct lamang ang nasa loob ng circle. For this circle letter A, this is circle letter A. Kung if you're going to get 8 and eight and 6, ang natira na lang is 2, 4, at saka 10. So ito yung susulat mo dito sa labas na itong intersection. So 2, 4, at saka 10. Next, kasi ang set you is 1 to 10. Ang na, nandito na sa loob ng circle is, sa loob ng circles are 2, meron bang 3, non, 2, 4, merong 5, meron 6, merong 7, merong 8, merong 9, saka merong 10. So, ang natira na lang is 1 at saka 3. So, in, ilalagay mo dito sa loob ng rectangle pero nasa labas ng dalawang circles are 1 at saka 3. So that is an example of a Venn diagram. Another example is a Venn diagram with three circles. So the first one is use Venn diagram to represent set and set notation. Dito, walang set you. However, you need also to still to put a rectangle. So set A, set B, at saka set C. Ibig sabihin yan, kailangan ng tatlong circles kasi tatlong sets. So A, B, at saka C. So ang pagkagawa mo ng tatlong circles is ganito. Dapat um, intersection si A at saka si B, si B at saka si C, si C at saka A. At meron rin dito sa gitna kung saan nakita yung tatlong circle. So the first thing you need to identify actually in here is ano yung number na makikita mo sa tatlo. So, or anong element ang makikita mo sa tatlo sa A at saka B at saka C. So ang makikita mo dyan is 9. Itong 9. So ibig sabihin si 9, ang isusulat mo dito sa sa part na kung saan yung tatlong circles nag-meet. So, this in here is 9. So, ibig sabihin na sa loob siya ng B, na sa loob rin siya ng A, na sa loob rin siya ng C. And next, um, if you're going to take a look, ng, eh, dito, binigay na A intersection C is 8 at saka 9. Si A at saka C, ang makikita mo sa A at saka C is si 8 at saka si 9. Next, however, si A at saka C, so, ang makikita mo daw si 8 at saka 9, merong ng 9 dito. So, ano na lang isusulat mo? It's 8. So, again, ang makikita mo lang, ang makikita mo sa A at saka sa C, si A intersection C is si 8 at saka C, 
9. Pero nasulat mo na si 9 dito, so you don't need to write 9. So what you're going to do is write only 8. For this part, ang itong part na to is kung saan nakit, anong number ang ang intersection ni B at saka ni C. Kung saan nagkita si B at saka C, anong, meron, anong number na meron sa B na meron din sa C. So, B at saka C at 7 at saka C9. So, B at saka C, merong 7, merong 9. However, we have already 9 in here. So, ang isusulat na lang natin is 7. So, 7 na lang. Next, for this part naman is intersection ni A at saka ni B. We are sure na merong 9 sa A at saka sa B. Pero ano pang number ang makikita mo sa A at saka sa B? So, walang 2, walang 5, walang 6, walang 8, walang 1, 3, 7. So, other than that, 9 lang ang, ang number na makikita mo sa A at saka B. Intersection nilang dalawa. So, if you're not going to write anything in here, ibig sabihin, si B at saka si A, yung sa kanilang lang dalawa, walang number na distinct na makikita mo sa A at saka sa B. Next, Kasi nilagay mo na, in this circle, this is circle set A. Ibig sabihin, meron ng 8 at saka 9. So, ano natira na lang? May 8 na at saka 9. So, natira na lang is 2, 5, and 6. 2, 5, at saka 6. Next, sa set B, meron na yung 9 at saka 7. 9 at saka 7, ang natira na lang si 1 at saka si 3. So, ilagay mo dito sa labas, 1 at saka 3. Ibig sabihin ng mga number na ito, ito yung mga numbers na makikita mo lang sa letter B. So, sa set B, so it's 1 and 3. So, what numbers are only found in set C? So, it's 4 at saka 10, 4 at saka 10, 8, 9, 7. So, how many elements letter C? So, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. Set B, apat lang. So, this is set B. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, set A, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, inside the circle, there are 5 elements. And, kailangan na magkapariho yung number na sa loob ng circle dito. At saka yung nasa loob ng braces dito. So, that's for the Venn diagram with 3 circles. Next, for problem solving... Um, there are situations in real life where you could use Venn diagram. This is for the illustrative example number 3. Merong 60 students of grade 7 charity were asked if they have pet animals at home. Sa bahay nila kung mayroon ba silang animals sa bahay nila at, or wala. 40 of the students have dogs and 35 have cats. So, sa lahat ng students, 40 sa kanila ang may dogs, 35 ang may cat. So, if if you're going to add them, 40 at saka 35, ang answer niyan is 75. So, lampas na nun sa 60 students. Why is that lampas siya sa 60 students? What happened? It just clearly shows us na merong mga estudyante na meron silang dogs, meron rin silang cats. Ilan sa kanila ang merong dogs, ilan sa kanila ang merong cats. What you're going to do in here is you could use this um, solution. At, um, you're going to write circle 1 and circle 2. Kasi if it's, itong circle 1 is yung para sa dogs, circle 2 is for the cats. So you're going to write this as S1, this part is S2, and this part is S3. We're going to check if this answer is correct. First one, kung i-plus mo daw si S1, S2, at saka S3, dapat 60 students lang. Kasi 60 students lang naman talaga ang lahat ng students. So, S1 plus S2 plus S3 is 60. So, kasi kailangan na 60 lang ang total dito. Next, you're, if you're going to add S1 at saka S2, S1 at saka S2, para saan nga circle na to? It's for yung my dogs. So, kung yung 60, bawasan mo ng mga estudyante na merong dogs, the answer is... Yung 60, bawasan mo ng mga number na may dogs, which is 40. 40 kasi may dogs. So, 20. Ibig sabihin, itong 20, yun sila yung may cats only. So, dito, ilalagay mo dito 20. Kasi, ibig sabihin, yun ay space for S3. Para sa may cats only. 20. Next, para naman sa may dogs only. So, dogs only. So, 60, bawasan mo ng 35 na may cats. It's 25. Pero nakasulat dito is 21. So, this answer is wrong. So, it should be 25. Ibig sabihin, 25 sa kanila ang may dogs only. Kasi nga, yung 60, binawasan mo ng 35 na, 
na estudyante na meron silang cat sa bahay. So, kung meron silang cat sa bahay, so, ibig sabihin, wala silang dogs. Kung meron lang silang cat, um, yung mga tao na merong yung dogs only is 25. So, ibawas mo 30 minus 60 minus 35, that's 25. Next. Dito naman, kasi, how many has S2? Or have how many of them have dogs and cats? We know na other than this formula, you could use this one. Um, itong 60, bawasan mo ng 25, bawasan mo ng 20. This answer is 15. So, again, para masolve mo dito, you could use ang 60 kasi 60, diba, diba lahat ng students? Bawasan mo ng 25, bawasan mo ng 20, that's 15. But, you could also use this formula. 35 sa kanilang may cats. Dito sa, in- sa loob ng circle, ng 4 cats, 20 pa lang. So, ilan ang natira? 15. So, ibig sabihin ng 15 ang nandito for yung mga may dogs at saka may cats. We're going to erase this one and we're going to to write the answer. It should be 25 and it's yung mga S2 or yung may both pets, it's 15. Tapos yung may mga cats only, it's 20. So that's how you're going to solve real life problems involving Venn diagram or sets that can be solved using Venn diagram. So we'll go back with the first example, that learning task one, for example. So the first example is, for the directions is less down inside the diagram what is asked in each set. A is the set of factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? So that's for A. 1 times 2. 12, 3 times 4, and 6 times 2. So, I think that's it. For set prime numbers, letter B is prime numbers less than 15. So, we'll start with 2 because 1 is not considered. 3, 5, 7. Yung mga prime numbers na factors lang nila is 1 at saka sarili nila. So, 1, 7, 8, hindi pwede. 9, hindi rin pwede. 10, 11, 12. 12, hindi pwede, 13, 14, at saka 15. So, these are the prime numbers less than 15. C is the set of even numbers less than 15. Even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, Actually, You could also have, kasi even numbers rin, di ba, ang negative 2. But we're not going to have that because we are not, we're just going to consider positive numbers in here. With 0, is not neither positive nor negative. So, but we'll still consider counting numbers lang from 0 to 15 on the. So, again, dito, ang i-consider lang natin is yung mga numbers from 0 to 15. So, first one. Ang gagawin natin is, what's, anong number na dito sa tatlong set na ilalagay natin dito sa gitna? So, what numbers can you found find in this 3? So, it's 2. First one is 2. So, 2. So, 2. What else? May 4 dito wala. May, may 1 ba dito? Noon. May 12. Dito lang, so hindi mo makikita dito. May 3 ba dito? 3, walang 3 dito. May 4, walang 4, walang 4 meron. 6, so only 2 ang makikita mo sa tatlo. Next, ano makikita mo sa A at saka B? So this side only, A at saka B. A at saka B. So it's 3. So 3, other than 3. May 1 but 12, walang 12, may 4, may 6. So, 3. So, for this one, B, this side, B at saka sa C. Ano makikita mo? Ano ang numbers? Maliban sa 2, ang makikita mo sa B at saka C. So, B at saka C, it's 5, 7, 11, 13. Wala. So, this space would be empty. For A and saka C, A, merong bang 1? So, we know that there is 12. So, 12. What else? Meron ring 4. Meron ring 6. So, 12, 4, at saka 6. So, 
Itong mga numbers nito ito, makikita mo sa A at saka sa C, 12, 4, at saka 6. Next, um, anong numbers na lang natira sa A? It's 1. So, 1. Erase 1. For, anong numbers na lang natira sa B? It's 5, 7, 11, 13. Anong numbers na lang natira sa C? It's 8, 10, 0, 14. So, bibilangin natin. It, letter C, kailangan is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, there should be 8 numbers. So, so inside the circle C, dapat 8 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, that's correct. So, for letter A, there should be 6 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is circle A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, for B, there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, our answer is... Correct. So that's how are you going to solve for problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. So you could actually an answer this complete the Venn diagram if you are if you understand the lesson. So thank you.